MIT is Emily Morgan, her achievement in health and community service. Trained as a registered nurse and public health nurse by the Red Cross in Wichita, Kansas, Emily Morgan was responsible for administering the serum that was brought to Nome via the famous Abiderol serum run to the diphtheria epidemic in 1925. She was the nurse who received the serum. She was named the Angel of the Yukon for saving the natives of Nome from the Black Death during the epidemic, according to the Wichita newspapers. Her work stopped the spread of that deadly disease to other villages in the Arctic and of the greatest health crisis that Alaska had ever seen. During the First World War, Emily Morgan served as a commissioner in the American, excuse me, the Army Reserve Nurse Corps, and she served in France, Germany, Italy, and Belgium and England during World War II. She also worked back at home as the first public health nurse in Wichita and wanted to go on to become a missionary. There she was sent to Alaska, where she lived for 15 years. She worked at the Jesse Lee Orphanage in on Alaska, the hospital in Barrow, and the Maynard Columbia Hospital in Nome, Alaska. There she performed her job in the harshest of conditions during the epidemic of the diphtheria epidemic, where she had to safely unfreeze the serum before it was administered to the people. While on furlough in Kansas in 1928, Emily Morgan was called back to Alaska and back to Nome to help with the smallpox epidemic in northern Alaska. In 1935, she was in charge of the Barrow Hospital when the, wives of, excuse me, when the bodies of Wiley Post and Will Rogers were brought to the hospital because their plane had crashed on August 15th. The most famous aviator, Will Rogers, and celebrated America's favorite Hollywood actor were on vacation in Alaska when their plane had crashed. Emily Morgan died in Kansas in 1960, but she loved the 15 years that she spent in Alaska. Receiving on behalf of Emily Morgan is Steve Levi Penelope. 